Hi, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to be going through pheochromocytoma, and you can find written notes at zerotofinals.com slash pheochromocytoma, or in the endocrinology section of the Zero to Finals medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. A pheochromocytoma is a tumour of the adrenal glands that secretes unregulated and excessive amounts of catecholamines, specifically adrenaline. Let's talk about the pathophysiology. Adrenaline is produced in the chromaffin cells in the medulla or middle part of the adrenal glands. Adrenaline is a catecholamine hormone that stimulates the sympathetic nervous system and is responsible for the fight or flight response that occurs with danger. A pheochromocytoma is a tumour of the chromaffin cells that secretes unregulated and excessive amounts of adrenaline. In patients with a pheochromocytoma, the adrenaline tends to be secreted in bursts, which gives intermittent symptoms. Pheochromocytomas are more common in certain genetic conditions, specifically multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, or MEN2, neurofibromatosis type 1, and von Hippel-Lindau disease. About 30 or 40% of patients with a pheochromocytoma have a genetic cause. There is a 10% rule to describe the pattern of tumours. 10% are bilateral, 10% are cancerous, and 10% are outside the adrenal gland. Next let's talk about the presentation. The symptoms tend to fluctuate and relate to periods where the tumour is secreting excessive adrenaline. Typical symptoms are anxiety, sweating, headache, tremor, palpitations, hypertension, and tachycardia, which is a fast heart rate. Next, let's talk about diagnosis. The initial tests include plasma-free metanephrines and 24-hour urine catecholamines. Measuring the serum catecholamine or adrenaline level is very unreliable, as the levels tend to fluctuate and these chemicals have a very short half-life of only a minute or so. This means depending on when you take the blood sample, the level could fluctuate massively. Metanephrines are a breakdown product of adrenaline, and they have a much longer half-life with more stable levels. Therefore, they represent the adrenaline level over time much more reliably. Measuring 24-hour urine catecholamines gives an idea of how much adrenaline is being secreted by the tumour over a 24-hour period. A CT scan, or MRI, can be used to look for a tumour of the adrenal glands. Genetic testing may be advised to look for a genetic cause, including testing the relatives. Finally, let's talk about management. Management of a pheochromocytoma involves alpha blockers, for example, phenoxybenzamine or doxazosin, beta blockers, which are started only after the patient is established on alpha blockers, and surgical removal of the tumour. Patients should have their symptoms controlled medically before they go for surgery to reduce the risks associated with the anaesthesia and the operation. Now head over to members.zerotofinals.com to test yourself on how much you understood and remembered from this video. The members site contains illustrated flashcards, multiple choice questions, and short answer questions designed to perfectly complement the Zero to Finals resources.
It also features an Anki-like fact trainer tool, which you can use to train your knowledge on the key facts you need for your medical exams. You test yourself on the fact, then rate how difficult you found that fact. The site then spaces out your repetitions and tells you when you're due to review it again. Going over the facts with space repetitions helps ensure they stay in your long-term memory. A link to the member site is in the video description.